Okay, so we have this beautiful big box. Um, it's completely blue. Uh, Auto Art Toyota Century, and you see also here the serial number of this model. You also have this QR code. It's a black color, and I was waiting for that. And I will tell you a reason. Uh, there is also one made by Kiyosho, but it's fully sealed. You can't open it. So I was waiting for this one made by Auto Art because I wanted all the doors to be open, also the hood and the trunk. So that's that's the reason. Okay, any surprise? Okay, so that's the box and maybe what you can see here, detail scale model for adult collectors. If you are under 14 years old, then it's not for you. Yeah. There is also this nice guide showing you how to open the bonnet and there are three steps first you press a button then you lift it up and then you can push it down again all right so here we have the door opening tool here uh, as you can see made by auto art but maybe now time to remove the screws as you can see there are four screws as always and uh, i'm always using my screwdriver to carefully remove the screws let me remove this okay and put it aside and here we go here we go this is this is the model I've been waiting for. I ordered this like, I don't know, uh, six months ago when I first saw it uh, online. I saw it in some groups. Yeah, I saw nice pictures of this car and I, I was like, I'm collecting black limousines. I need to have this one in my collection as well. And it just came today. What a beautiful day in my life. Okay, so maybe let's start the review here in the front. As you can see, the front grille is perfectly perforated, very nicely done. You can see this Toyota Century license plate and also the logo here. Uh, you see how beautifully done it is. Maybe I can even zoom in a bit more to show you this beautiful detail of this cock or peacock or whatever it is. Maybe you tell me in the comment what kind of animal it is. And then another fine logo here on the top the lights look beautiful yeah they they are very detailed very deep and with yeah it's very nice you can see the headlamps inside of this light and then there are also stripes here led stripes uh, or daylights and then another uh, air intake here and a lot of chrome everywhere actually it, this is beautifully done so the, the front is really good and then uh, when I check the wheels they are also oh let me maybe move a little bit the wheels are also nicely done you can see that they can turn they also spin freely there is again this logo uh, of the, the century in the middle and you can see also the brake disc, but not so much the brake caliper. Yeah, it's there. The brake caliper is there. It's black, not that visible, but it's there. Then the side view. And of course here, everything is nicely in line. So you see that if I take uh, this liner here, then everything is so precisely done here. Like, wow, <laughs> no gaps, no, absolutely no gaps. So if you see, for example, here, uh, the panels they fit perfectly yeah later I will also open all the doors but here again the gap is minimal yeah nice side mirrors the door handles um, it's only colored yes it's not a separate part here unfortunately I prefer when the door handle is a separate piece which is glued in but here obviously uh, it's hmm, not that bad but it could be a bit better 
and then another chrome part here on the bottom of the doors huge then here um, the wheels and here the, the, the gas cab door which you can't open and actually can you is the suspension working no it's not suspension is not working and as you can see this is not a die cast this is composite in other words it's all plastic uh, which is a little bit downside of this model but recently auto art is only producing uh composite models yeah? so here in the back let me maybe zoom in century here this nice sign century again the logo and the license plate you see here again a lot of chrome everywhere uh, and the rear lights quite nicely done again the gap is quite minimalistic here on both sides yeah so the panel panels are done really really greatly uh, also here when i um, do the exterior review i also see here that this glass here it has this heating stripes which is another positive side but yeah let's then see what is inside okay so maybe i should really start also uh before i go to the inside i should start with the bottom which you can see now it's quite yeah there are some details not many but there are some and there should be also this button here as you can see so maybe now let's use this button to open the hood okay so i will now okay it's somehow working so i switched it and now i will lift it as requested on the manual okay so here we have the engine and what i will do now I will review the interior of the car a little bit more uh, and the first thing that I notice here there is a cover so I'm uh, just wondering if I can remove this cover like on many models before yeah, almost all models I have I can remove this and hopefully also here but it doesn't look like and it's actually not so detailed here it's also flat just flat area here plastic and it doesn't look so fancy and nice yeah it's ridiculously flat and without any interesting part only this i think i can't really i can't really remove this gray part to show you what is beneath maybe let me use this tool now probably i could destroy it easily but i'm wondering so much no probably you can't really remove this it looks like it's completely attached and hmm, i don't want to destroy it yeah so i will leave it as it is uh, on the manual it didn't say that i could remove it so i will just leave it there as it is I quite like here the hinges and the tiny screws here it's very tiny but it's still there and look at those pipes and everything it's it's done very carefully i like it so now i will close it again okay can it go all the way down again yeah you see that it's very difficult to close it now very difficult oh what happened that i can't close it anymore one more attempt no it seems like it can't be closed again i i'm always very unlucky with those hoods and how they do not work as as desired yeah so once again what shall i do to close it oh now it's it's going only this way down yeah so the more i use it the less i am capable of really closing it now it's only going this way down okay so maybe i will try to close it a bit later now let's keep it fully open 
because I will need to play with that maybe off the camera a little bit. Yeah, so <laughs> now I'm really frustrated. Okay, maybe one more last try. Almost done. Okay, now I know. You need to use a little bit more power to really push it down and then uh, you need to hear this click and then this button here, it will be activated. So it will actually hook uh, the hood down and it will be attached again, Yeah, Un unless you push it here again. Okay, so this is the way how it works. Now let's also open here the trunk. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is there any button? No. Maybe here. No, that's exhaust. The exhausts are not visible, but there are on the bottom. So how can I open it without damaging it? No, this is not really simple, guys. Not really simple. <laughs> There's actually no way how to do that. Yeah? So I will use this tool but this is too sharp maybe. No, this I should not use it because it's sharp and I can cut it instead of opening it. That's not a good idea. Yeah, so how to open it and show you what is there. Maybe press it with my both fingers. No, it's not that easy. Okay, so one more thing to use this door opening tool so maybe for the first time i will really find it useful okay oh look at that now it's working so finally that's for the first time when i actually find it useful and now i'm using this door opening tool for the first time okay and what is there actually you see uh, a lot of a lot of carpeting inside and there is also a little bit of dust particle it's a little bit dusty here what is that i don't like it a small dust particle okay but anyway you don't see any spare tire there you don't see any luggage here i would expect for this price it's it was like 300 euro for that price i would expect a luggage here or spare tire or you know a box with champagne but there is nothing like on my other lux luxurious cars or uh, limousines there is always something you know something to to make it exceptional but here I just close it because nothing is there and now the very last thing that I want to show you that's the interior and now again with my door opening tool it should be very easy opening one side and then also of course the other side because I want all the light to go in and then it will be a little bit nicer to show you all the features uh, of this car all right huh, look at that so actually the steering wheel on this car is on on this uh, right side because this is a Japanese car so you see here the steering wheel. Now when I turn the wheels, it's turning the steering wheel. And actually here, this is very nicely done. You see his, this imitation of wood. So you have the wooden part also here on the door. This is very nice. I like it. And then you have this material everywhere. So it's not plastic. It's some kind of, it's not even leather. This is this Alcantara or what is this material? It's fabric, yeah, and it's quite everywhere. It's here on the floor. Also in the back, when you check the back, it's also there. Uh, there's actually a huge screen here um, in the middle. And then the seats uh, covered by this fabric. Yeah, it's very soft when you when you touch it. And it's very interesting. So maybe also when I check it from the other side, the other angle. There's actually a lot of space here in the back. It's very comfortable. A lot of space, as I said. And then huh, 
it's quite unusual that there's the steering wheel is on the other side but here you see the seat controls here it's all electric yeah not really bad not really bad but again what i'm reviewing here and what i'm seeing is that when you when you touch this it's a little bit soft yeah maybe the die cast is always a little bit harder you see so let me try to close it good so i'm able to close this door here and then also this door here it fits perfectly you see you can't really fold or unfold uh, the side mirrors unfortunately then here uh let me again test okay here it's very bad look at that it's not holding in its position so some minus points for the quality here of course i can close it but in this position it's somehow the quality is not that not that good okay closing it it fits perfectly no gaps this is the advantage of auto arts that there are not really any gaps but then when I close this one, you see everything is perfectly in line. Yeah, this is what I like. This is what I like about auto art. It's the quality of how it looks like. Unfortunately, the quality of the materials used is not that well. Again, the wheels, they turn, they spin. So yeah, in the end, this is a very nice model. I like it so much. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It will fit into my collection. Later, I will also compare it to my other models. I will compare it to my Lexus LS uh, 600. Yeah, and I will maybe also compare it to some Royce Royce or Bentleys. You will see also the, the size because this is also quite huge and um, I will show it to you in my next videos, but now um, I think it's only time to give this model the final rating. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.